Afghan refugees got a taste of the American way of life as they celebrated Thanksgiving today. More than 124,000 Afghans fled their country in the largest airlift operation in U.S. history. Fox 4's Sean Rapp talked with some of them today. It's the annual celebration of the American holiday Thanksgiving for refugees in North Texas from around the world. This year, made even more special by those here from Afghanistan who served alongside the U.S. military. I am warming up Hello. this rice, beautiful rice. Final preparation for a Thanksgiving feast. They'll come over and get pie or they'll come back in and get pie. By an army of volunteers at Plano's Church of the Holy Nativity. Thank you for uh, giving us your time on Thanksgiving Day. This is a big deal. Uh, to us, but it's an even bigger deal to the families that we're going to serve. Do you want gravy? Since 2010, Gateway of Grace Ministries Refugee Outreach Do you want chicken? has been serving Thanksgiving for strangers in a new land. Thanksgiving is always a time in the United States where it seems families really come yes. together. Learning the country's traditions. The meal for these families, a mix of foreign to them, turkey and all the trimmings, and familiar Middle Eastern fare. In light of what was going on in Afghanistan this year, it was really important for us to gather together and be able to share the joy of the season, at least a little bit, with the Afghan refugees who are new to this country. In August, as American military pulled out, Afghanistan fell to the Taliban. So that is a very bad situation today. We do not want this uh, new government, the Taliban. So we hope that's coming changing in our country. Gulahan, at their request, only using first names, has been here one month. He helped U.S. soldiers in their battle in Afghanistan. And Mohammed, grateful to be here, but worried about the future of the Afghan country. And right now, it's not only the security problem, it's the economic problem too. Like the, all the bank system is down and nobody is, can go to the bank and if even they send the money, it's not easy, they can get it. We would like to uh, help these refugees, especially from Afghanistan, to understand that they are welcome here, they belong to this community. While Gulahan's waiting for his family to make it here from Afghanistan, he and others understanding the meaning of Thanksgiving. Let us uh, give thank days a happy day. You know, despite the struggles, this event gives these refugees a sense of belonging and gives them hope as they embrace the promise of a new future in a new land. Sean Rav, Fox 4 News.